Hey ho friends, it's Michelle with another Weekly Wax Meltdown for you today. Today is a smaller video probably than normal because I don't have a whole lot that I melted. If you uh, saw my community tab posts, uh, you know that I was in Las Vegas for a week. So I did not, you know, melt a whole lot there. I did mention on those community posts that I found some wax. I posted some pictures there, so go check that out. I didn't buy those that I posted. I didn't buy any of those. I did buy one candle. We'll talk about that at the end of this though. So as usual, let's start with the Scentsy that I have melted because I love it and I am an independent Scentsy consultant. So if you need one, all my information is in that description box below with other random information. Okay, I like to start usually with what's currently available. And because I have a smaller selection to share with you today, there's only one that's currently available right now. And it is Frosted Vanilla. I love this. It's one of the brand new scents um, this catalog season. It's Sweet Vanilla Bean, Birch Bark, and Frosty Air. Supposedly the Frosty Air note is peppermint, but I hate peppermint. <laughs> if you follow me, you know that. But I get mostly that Birch Bark and like a very sweet vanilla very reminiscent of Bath and Body Works uh, marshmallow fireside so if you like that scent give this frosted vanilla a try some people get a lot more mint in it than what I do so that's kind of surprising to me since I'm so sensitive to that pe uh, peppermint specific note but anywho um, it's kind of a lighter to medium performer I usually use this in an average size room and it does okay We'll talk a little bit more about it later when we get to candles because I actually have more to say about it. But anyway, for now, let's move on to the other Scentsy that I melted while I was here. We uh, melted Turning Red. This is Pomegranate, Cherry, and Sugar Cane with Vibrant Orange. I love this scent. It's in my Scentsy Club, so I can get it even now after it has discontinued. If you want to know more information about Scentsy Club, you can also check out that description box. There is a link to the webpage with FAQ, videos, all kind of stuff. Love this. Um, I kind of get all of those notes. I, I get this a uh, cherry. I get pomegranate. I get orange. Some people really don't like this scent, but I'm one of the people that absolutely love it. It is strong. I will melt this in my large living room, high ceiling area, and... It does a fantastic job there. Another one that does a fantastic job, not currently available, is Quiet Grove. This is bergamot, jasmine, and sandalwood. This was a bring back my bar maybe two years ago now. Uh, yeah, December of 20 is what I have in my notes. And... <clears throat> By the scent notes, I probably thought that I would not like this, but I do. It's not like super masculine type of a smell. It's kind of both. It's got that jasmine in there that really could make it go fem lean to feminine, but the others could make it go, ma it, you know, one of those unisex scents. And super strong. At first, this was not that strong, but I think as it cures, it has gotten so much stronger. I have been using this. I may have talked about it before, actually. I've been using two cubes at a time in our small, like, office room. And in the group warmer, which I... Oh, don't get me to line. It's an element warmer. I want to say it's maybe 8 watt, maybe 10. It, it's not a great perf performing warmer. But for that small room, it works. Anyway, I've been melting two cubes at a time and... Two cubes. The last two cubes were in there the whole time we were going on vacation. Um, we obviously had someone here at the house. Um, anyway, and I could still smell it when I was came back. And I'm not even sure when I put it in that warmer. It was probably days before we even left. Anyway, and of course, uh, my daughter was here dog sitting for us and house sitting. And... Um, Anyway, so she did melt some of this. 
she put one of these in. The last one we'll talk about. But anyway, while we were gone. So, Rise and Sunshine. I had this going, I think, the whole time we were gone as well. Uh, orange, Cherry, and Berries. This definitely has Clove in it, which is listed in the extended scent notes because it was a scent of the month in July of 2020. I want to say this was in a clearance or a flash sale um, earlier this year, maybe. I really like it. I, I wouldn't put it in the club because it, with that clove note, it is kind of season specific. But it is a very nice orange clove kind of scent without being overly clovey, I guess. And also a decent performer, medium to strong. And then my daughter put this one in while we were gone. She loves it too. Lavender Violet. And this is Spun Sugar, Lavender, Violet, and Marshmallow. And yeah, best combination ever of Lavender and Marshmallow. That Violet kind of brings out a little bit of the Lavender's floral note. But you still get a little bit of the astringent Lavender. Not, it's softened by that sweet Marshmallow though. I wish it was stronger. It's on the lighter side in an average size bedroom, but it's in my club as well. Probably will stay there for a very long time. And that's it for Scentsy. We will jump into, um, I guess let's do Pink Zebra next. I think I've talked about this for several Wednesdays as well. Clean, this is it basically smells like Clean Breeze from Scentsy. Um, it's strong as well. Laundry, cl laundry clean cotton with a light, airy note of bergamot and powdery musk. Yeah, it's a clean, clean scent. And I had it going, going in my hard to scent bathroom. That's why I try to talk slower because I get my words all messed up in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Okay, next, Fall in Love from Pink Zebra as well. Uh, this is Fall Leaves, Warm Patchouli, and Golden Amber. And it's a nice fall, kind of warm, dark scent. You kind of get all of that, but basic, I guess. I hate to say it like that, but... There's nothing special or different about it. I feel like I've smelled this before, um, but it's nice. I was kind of hoping for more of a like dark berry note in there, but it's just, I, also, I'm not a huge fan of patchouli, but I can tolerate this one. Um, I don't think that's available anymore. It was Paisley's pick a couple months ago, which means it was only available that month. And last for Pink Zebra is Coconut Eggnog. This is Coconut Cream, Vanilla, and Smooth Nutmeg. Now let me just say, this is, this is very interesting. You get the nutmeg, like eggnog type scent. But with coconut. So it's very interesting. It is very different and unique. Um, it, I would say it's more of a coconut drink than it is eggnog drink, but it's very nice and creamy, smooth, kind of coconut milk, um, creaminess to it. Was not a strong performer though. And I've got three, well, two Three candles, all from Kringle Candle, one of them's country. I think the, uh, yeah. So I have a three wick. This is one of the Halloween launches. It is spider webs. And, <clears throat> ooh, it is. Let's see. Their three wicks are 14 ounces. I had this in a candle crock. If you've watched me for a little while, you know I don't burn candles. They go in under a candle lamp or a candle crock. I have videos on those if you'd like uh, to watch those. I've got links to those in the description box as well. Spiderweb is lemon, grapefruit, floral, sage, 
patchouli, and amber. Top notes are lemon and grapefruit, mid notes lavender, geranium, sage, fir needle, with a base patchouli, oak moss, amber, and musk. Um, I don't get a whole lot from it anymore because it was in the crock, but in the lid, I still get kind of a, an earthy, citrusy type scent is what I get from this. And honestly, I'm not sure if they still have these available. I know they've had some pretty good sales going on fairly recently. I do also have, um, an affiliate discount code in the description box below if you'd like to try anything Kringle. Um, I'm going to save my favorite Kringle for last. And I've got from Country Candle, which is also Kringle, New England. And this is green sandalwood fruit, moss, amber, and wood. And it's, yeah, kind of that crisp air with a little bit of almost like ocean kind of very nice love this uh i'm not i'm not sure if they have it in the wax melts but i might get more in the wax melts if they do and then last but not least on what i've melted but stay tuned remember i'm gonna talk about the candle i bought while in vegas uh I, my favorite one this past week is Dungeon. This was my absolute favorite from the Halloween Kringle release a couple months ago now, I think. Um, this says the earthy blend of dirt moss and cedar wood will captivate and make you prisoner as you climb your way down the cold, dark stairs into the heart of this sinister new fragrance. Top note is earthy, mid note is cedar wood, and a base note is tonka and dirt moss. If you watched when I got these, uh, this is my favorite out of the like eight, I think, that I got, maybe ten. Anyway. And it smells like dirt and wet concrete to me. It, you know, quintessential Halloween. <laughs> and the funny thing is, uh, I guess it's not funny, but ironic years ago like probably 20 plus years ago i went into um would shop at a small mall outside of the houston area and there was a place there that had like incense and like lotions and i don't even remember what the store name was it wasn't like a big chain store or anything and there was something there that smelled like dirt and ever since then i have been trying to find some a scent candle wax that smelled like dirt so when I saw the scent notes in this, of course, I had to get it. And yes, it smells like dirt. A clean dirt, not a muddy dirt. I have smelled a muddy dirt in wax before, and I don't like that one. This one is clean. It's a clean soil. I don't know what makes that wet concrete kind of smell in it, but I love it. However, I had it under my candle lamp in my bedroom the last um let's see the night october 30th and 31st this is actually going up on what the second of november anyway um i had this going for halloween you know and like the night before and the night of halloween but it was i also had in my warmers the frosted vanilla and they do not smell good together <laughs> No, it was a no. They did not smell good together. They both just made the other one smell horrible, I guess. Anyway, walking into the room was not good. And at sometimes I could smell them separately. Anyway, so I turned off the frosted vanilla. I was done with that. So, anyway, that's the dungeon and frosted vanilla combo. Don't recommend that one. <laughs> and... I do recommend checking out my videos that have been going up most Saturdays that I'm calling Melted Mixology, where I'm suggesting some mixes with the brand new catalog scents uh, for this season and suggesting mixes with also current available scents in the catalog. Oh gosh, what's going up this week? Um, Sips of Cider. I 
I'm running a little behind, but I should still be able to have that video up for you on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. I already have a couple of really good mixes that I'm excited to share with you. And now for the candle that I bought on vacation. So, okay, we flew <laughs> and, you know, airport security is kind of picky about, you know, what you have in your luggage, right? Um, but I had, I, we went into the Bellagio, they had a, you know, there's stores everywhere, right? There was a store in the Bellagio that had Velus, Veluspa, Veluspa, you know what candle I'm talking about. Um, they had that brand and they had Nest candles, which was great because I don't usually get to smell those around where I'm at and the stores I go in. So I sniffed all of them that they had and my favorite, I wanted to buy it, but I knew we were flying, so I didn't buy it. And then we happened to be in the Bellagio again a couple days later. So, you know, I went in there and I bought the candle I wanted. And this probably won't surprise you if you've watched my videos before. I got Rose Petal Ice Cream. And I had actually looked online to see if I could order this online and the scent was available, but this packaging was not available on, on their website. So that's why I went ahead and got it when we went in there again. Anyway, it's a metal um, vessel with a metal real thin lid, two wicks, and it was $45. Um, where's the ounces? 26 ounces. And it smells like ice cream with rose. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know that one, my absolute favorite scent is Pink Petal Tea Cake uh, from Bath and Body Works. I don't normally like bakery. I don't usually gravitate, I guess is a better way to put that, to grab to floral or bakery. But the combo of those, I absolutely love in Pink Petal Tea Cake. So this, of course, intrigued me when I first saw it, had to smell it. It's great. Anyway, if you have smelled this or ever worn this, burned it, let me know what you think about it. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's anything really like Pink Petal Tea Cake, but it's along the same lines, putting kind of a food smell with a rose smell. But yeah, I like it. I'm looking forward. This is actually going to go under my candle lamp uh, in my bedroom right after I finish this video because that candle lamp only turns on for a couple hours each evening. Um, yeah, anyway, you don't care about all that probably. So if you watched until now, thank you for sticking with me. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will see you on Saturday to talk about some sips of cider mixes. So I will see you then. Hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you Saturday.